Hi, everyone. So in this lecture, we're going to be talking about linear regression and fitting lines to points. Um, and to start, we're going to start with something really simple, which is just fitting a line to two points. OK? So let's say that we have uh, a plane. And uh, here's my x-axis, and here's my y-axis. And I have two points. OK? Let me just make them up. Let's say I have a point at x equals 1 and y equals 1, and I have another point over here at x equals 3 and y equals 2. And my goal is very simple. I want to draw a line through these points. Okay? So that line, as you all know, is this line right here. Okay? Here are my points again. I'm going to make them a little bigger so we can see them. Okay. So we all remember from algebra that the equation for a line, so a function of y as a function of x, is what we want. So we want y as some kind of function of x. And since we are looking for a line that goes across these points, the, the form of the line is y equals some kind of slope times x time plus the y-intercept. So this, again, is just reminding you some things you should know from, from, from um, algebra, regular algebra. So here, m is a slope of the line. And c is what I'm going to call uh, the, the y-intercept of the line. Okay, we know that this is a y-intercept because if you plug in 0 for x, then y equals c. So c is just uh, what y equals when, when x equals 0. Okay, this is stuff that should be very basic that you should already remember. Okay, so let's try to apply this to my two data points over here. Now, you all know how to compute m and c, okay? So if I ask you how to do it, one of the first answers is, well, you just look at the slope, right? And how do you compute the slope? Well, again, from algebra, what you remember is that it's the rise over the run, OK? I know this is a really simple problem, but I'm going to try to formulate it in a slightly different way um, with the goal that uh, the way that I'm going to formulate it is going to be a little more generalizable to a, a wider class of more complicated problems. So bear with me. Here's how we're going to do it instead of doing rise over run, OK? I'm going to make uh, a list of my numbers my x-coordinates and my y-coordinates. And right now, I only have two. So I have one point, which is at x equals 1, y equals 1. And I have another point, which is x equals 3 and y equals 2. OK? So the y that I want has to satisfy these two data points. So I'm going to just write it out really explicitly. Here's what it looks like. I want um, the first point is 1 equals some m. I don't know what m is times x equals 1 plus c has to equal the first point, y equals 1. Now, the second point, y equals 2 equals m times 3, again, plus c. OK? So these two equations is a system of equations that we have to solve in order to figure out what is the line that goes through my two points. Now, to be explicit, these two are my unknown parameters, the things that I have to solve for. So what I'm going to do is take the system of equations and then represent it in terms of a system, um, it's a system of, of matrix equations. So I'm just going to rewrite it, and here's what it's going to look like. I know I have a system of unknowns, so I have to solve for m, and I have to solve for c, and well, 1 times m plus 1 plus c equals the first point, y equals 1. I'm going to do the same thing for the second equation. So m times 3 plus 1 times c equals 2. OK? So this should start looking very familiar to you. This is exactly the same system of matrix equations that we talked about in the last, um, in the last week. So this is one of those ax equals b equations. OK? So what we have is a matrix A, which is known. We have a vector B, which is also known. And what we want is to solve for this vector x over here, which in this case represents our vector of parameters. And so we all, if you remember from last time, the way to solve this equation, once we've set it up in this general way, is by taking the matrix inverse of A and using that to solve for x. Okay? 
So remember, there's a couple different ways you can do this computationally. Um, any MATLAB, you can either do x equals a black slash b. That will give you the right answer. Or you can actually compute the inverse of a explicitly and use that to solve it as well. In this case, I'll probably give you the same answer. So this is how you would set up a system of equations um, with unknowns and knowns in order to fit a line through two points. And next time, we'll talk about more than two points.